What's up guys? I'm Nick and this is Build Dad Build, a place where we don't see black and white, we only see shades of gray. Check out the merch shelf below. Okay guys, on this episode, we are going to do some samples of some light to dark gray stained Shishugi Bond. I have a client that is restoring a classic truck and he has the wooden slats in the back of the bed. He wants yours truly, Build Dad Build, to put a little stink on him. But he hasn't quite landed on a color yet, so we're gonna give him some different options. I've already cut up some two by fours. If you wanna see my full stained Shishugi Bond treatment, video. I'll link it up here. Uh, but today we are going to set those bad boys on fire. We're going to hit them with my new favorite tool, which is the uh, flex shaft brushes attached to my drill. Uh, we're going to take the, uh, the char off and then we're going to do a couple of different stains on them to see which one he's going to like the best. Stay tuned this week on Build Dad Build. Kidding. Let's get to work. Made them extra stanky for you. <laughs> now let's get this up. What's happening guys? Okay, so those have been burned, they've been brushed. I usually take like a wet towel and just wipe them down, let them sit in the sun. And this is where we are right now. One thing, uh, a lot of you guys, if you're doing this yourselves and you're using the, the nylon brush, I've had some people have issues where they say that it's not taking the stain. If you stay on this thing with the nylon brush for too long, you actually like burnish the wood and you will get it to a point where it just won't accept stain and that stuff will just slide right off. I, let's see. So if it gets shiny, that means you're burnishing it. Um, I was working on this with the orange brush. So what I did is I went back with the gray brush just to kind of uh, kind of unburnish, is that a thing? Uh, and, and take that shine off. Okay, so today the stains we're working with are, this is whitewash, we have sun bleached, we have weathered gray, I don't even know if you can read that. Then I've got some classic gray stain. One other thing I'm gonna try is something that's not on the market yet. Uh, the, the folks that make Unicorn Spit, uh, Michelle Nicole, uh, she sent this out to me from her artistic Vivations line, and this is supposed to be a metallic stain. So this is mercury or antique silver. I don't think the client's really gonna go for this one, but since I have it and we're doing grays, I figured we see how this one stacks up against the rest of them. All right. Stew this. Stew this. Thank you. Hey, up here, up here. Don't look over there, it's too bright. Are you listening? Are you listening? Glove up! guys next we're just gonna hit these with a little steel wool basically we're gonna just pull those blacks back out a little bit like so oh, one thing about the unicorn spit dyes um, they have they're all scented mm. and I know you guys are like I like to smell the motor oil and blah 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 and so do I but you know what stinks stain okay so here we are this is the sun bleached I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit of a little bit of steel wool. And all I'm doing is knocking back and pulling out that black. And you're just gonna hit it in the spots that you wanna see more color. Check that out. Thank you. 
See how much different that looks after just a little bit of steel wool? Bang! Oh yeah. You got the look. Ooh, it must have took a whole hour just to make up your face, baby. Love you. Oh, hey guys. Ready to see some results? Me too. Okay, so off camera, I did hit these with one coat of semi-gloss lacquer, a uh, little deft, love this stuff. Just to give you an idea of what they'll look like with the top coat, while I'm reviewing each one, I will put up a picture of them pre and post top coat so you can get more of an idea what they look like with a satin finish. First we have the whitewash, which I haven't had this much problem in the past, and at first I was kind of thinking that I just had some old whitewash, but I noticed it just kept wiping off. I don't know if you remember, but I, I think, to go back and look at the footage, but I think this is the one that I had burnished. So I think that's the reason I was having a problem with it. So it ended up looking pretty decent. It probably would have turned out just a little bit better if I haven't, hadn't burnished it because I really had to kind of scrub at it to get it in there. But it looks like the end result isn't too bad. Next stop on the five shades of gray, <laughs> I'm naming the video it. Um, is, uh, is the sun bleach stain, which is always a crowd favorite. I think this piece looks amazing. You know my client's not really into seeing the brown. Just wanted you guys to see, just by like adding a little bit of brown back into there, how like it just becomes so much more three-dimensional. You got your lights, you got your mediums, and you got your, your darks, but your mediums become much more interesting because they're a different color. And next we have the weathered gray. This one looks really striking with the gray versus the dark darks. This just turned out really well. I really like this. And see how that, like getting that knot in there just gives it a little bit of interest in the middle so it's just not a bunch of lines. If that was just lines, it, would, it wouldn't look nearly as cool. But I think this one looks really good. I like it. And then we have the classic gray, which this is less pigmented. One of the areas where I was trying to take it down to, to black, uh, you'll see a little brown in there. But this one too, that gives it a little bit more dimension. Makes it a little bit more interesting to the eye. And finally we have, <laughs> I wanna say Unicorn Spit, but it's Artistic Vivations. This is the Mercury color, the metallic gray. And this looks, it, it's actually really nice to work with. Um, I, it, there's some brush marks in here, that some tool marks that kind of popped up and Honestly, I normally don't mind the tool marks, but I think with this application, the star of the show is obviously the metallic of the stain. And here, I think the fact that it's kind of picking up those tool marks kind of takes away from that. So if I was gonna do this again, and not reflect light off of it, uh, if I was gonna do this again, I would uh, I'd make sure this is pretty smooth. Probably hit it with the blue or something and get this to where it's not, it doesn't have as many tool marks. I also, the brush I was using is old but we'll see. Okay guys, which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. All right guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments um, or shoot me a DM on Instagram or drop by Discord and, uh, and ask them. Uh, if you may have noticed you've been following the channel for a little bit, like there's some, some kind of fancy new tools that are showing up. Those have been provided in part by my patrons. I would not have been able to purchase all of the tools that I did without the help of the folks that joined my Patreon campaign. I'm gonna give them a special thanks right here. You guys are awesome, especially Steven Mann and Nick the Great. Thank you. All right, guys, until next time, thanks for playing. Now I gotta get to work. <laughs>